Hey folks, my name is Sasha. In this session, we'll walk through the Google Ads row struct. This is the struct that is returned from all search stream and search requests. Each row represents a specific subgraph of the entire resource tree. So let's illustrate this. Imagine all of the available resources in a given ads account. At the top level, you've got campaigns. And for each campaign, you have some distinct ad groups. And same thing for ads within ads. And then we have various metrics and segments that Google Ads collects in buckets for you. Each row in a search stream and search response corresponds to a subgraph of the account's resource tree, determined by the resource in your from clause and any segments specified in your select clause. Now, in truth, you actually have all of these resources in your select clause, and that explains why they're all being populated in our response. But only the segments affect the number of rows per from resource. So Google Ads row represents an enumeration of all the possible combinations of distinct from resource and segment tuples. And any other resources are just along for the ride. So remember, Google Ads row represents a flattened subgraph of the account resource tree. In summary, each Google Ads row is a subgraph of resources and metrics. And this subgraph is determined by the resource that appears in the from clause and any segments that are included in the select clause. And the response is a collection of these rows, a collection of these flattened subgraphs of resources and metrics. Also remember, only the fields that you included in the select and resource names will be populated in the response. And the response itself includes a field mask that reflects them.